What is up, you awesome kisters of the Sist Reacts here, guys? Today we are reacting to the Yellow Bear FNAF VHS. Make so sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to Valox, and comment down below. Let's get into this bot. Y'all gotta hide on Twitter, man. Hide, 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 hide. The FNAF movie is being seen by people. But after certain Get off YouTube, man. Occurred, I would like to try and communicate with possible spirits in the building. He's trying to communicate with the spirits in the building? Disposing of those bodies ourselves to protect the company name. Disposing the bodies? I, I want to make up for it all. And I need to know if he did it. You are so close if you, like, know there's spirits in there, and you know what they do. If you're like a Fazbear Corporation guy who's trying to atone for the crimes of the company, you are standing way too close for that. Hello. Is yeah. There's a spirit in the room with you right now. Who's got the Phasmophobia spirit box? I don't mean to bother you. I just need some help. So who do you think is going to open their eyes first? My money's on that bunny with the weapon guitar in his hand. He's got more range than all of them. Nah, it's gonna be Chica. He's well, he's looking. The f the eyes, the eyes. They need to calm down with the with that intensity. All right, they need to calm down with that. Hello. Oh, this video is called the Yellow Bear, so none of them's gonna get him. I just thought about that. He just woke them all up and then turned his back. He is an idiot. How do you know everything and, and know what the company's been doing, but you're putting yourself in danger? Is there anyone in the room? Why did they leave Fredbear's eyes like that? Just black with a white light. In the room with me. Hello? Something's saying something. Whoa, that was very clear. Whoa, that was very clear. I'm gonna die. What is your name? Could you please repeat that? Yes, could you please repeat that? Could you please repeat that? What do I want? Uh, I want to help. Uh, are you still with me? Don't get punched, Fredbear. Don't get punched. Don't lunge. Could you please tell me your name? Cassidy? Cassidy. Uh, did, did you say Cassidy? You heard her. Stop repeating questions for you. Piss it off. Okay. Uh, how old are you, Cassidy? I mean, like eight years old. Nine? Do you remember what happened to you? What's the last thing you remember? What was that noise? I'm so sorry. I know you're not the only one. Were you alone when you died? I mean, if she was alone when she died, you know, <laughs> there wouldn't be a killer still at large. <laughs> like, this guy is, this guy is annoying, bro. This guy is so annoying. How are you going to turn your back on the things that you know are haunted and kill people? And you're asking the ghost dumb questions. Other man, man, next he's going to ask, did you die when you died? Like... Who, who was with you? Who was with you? Afton. Like... Gabriel... Boy, Gabriel. Right? I'm saying the other names. I hope nobody's behind him. I keep on hearing stuff. Too dark to see others. What? Cassidy, are, are you still with me? No more. No more questions? Look, I get it's hard. But I need answers. What the hell, bro? Stop! 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 
Look? Bronk? What the hell are you saying? Alright, you know what? Fine. Listen, we have footage on my cameras of a yellow bunny luring you all to the back room where you were murdered in cold blood. And we already have a suspect behind bars, but I'm not buying it. So I'm gonna ask you one more fucking time. Who was your killer? Because I need to know right now. Whoa! Get, get me out of here! Bro, bro got, bro got a little bit annoyed. Like, I, I, I don't know who, I don't know, I, I, I really don't know who this man really thinks he's talking to like that. But I, I'm glad Golden Friday kind of turned him down a bit. Cause, bro. You're, you're trapped in the room with him, and you know it. You're not, you're not like, you're not the boss here, man. It could kill you in two seconds. Like, this man said, I need you to tell me where your fucking killer is. If they knew, he would be dead. Damn. <laughs> Did he fall over? What just happened? Oh, damn. That's... <laughs> That's what happened. I didn't. All I seen was like a blue light and a thunk. I didn't think. I didn't. I barely seen what happened. <laughs> he just got a fucking arcade machine just chucked at him. Like, damn. Damn. You hear the laugh. No signal. Even the camera went unconscious after that one, like... That was- that was good though, that was- that was pretty creepy. But... Like... It, bro is just losing his temper on some dead kids that are already as- that are already mad as hell, like... Listen, we have footage on my cameras of a yellow bunny luring you all to the back room where you were murdered in cold blood. And we already have a suspect behind bars, but I'm not buying it. So I'm gonna ask you one more fucking time. Who was your killer? Because I need to know right now. Whoa. Like, why Why are you mad at them? They're the ones who got killed. Yeah, at least you're here to question about it, like... Sorry, I gotta see if to humble him one more time. Just... Thwack! Like... For no reason. <laughs> Yo, can someone... Can someone edit, like... A, a frying pan smack sound... Over that? Like... Just... Whoosh, like... Oh my god. Alright, that was the Yellow Beer FNAF VHS. That, that was pretty terrifying. Uh, great, great job, Valox. Oh, wait, there's a whole description down here. The paranormal was never really my thing, but after many sleepless nights, I had to try at least once. William is currently being accused for the murder of those missing children, but there's no way it can't be him. But he already knows what it's like to lose a child. Why would he ever consider taking that from someone else? I need to clear his name. Oh, so he was out here trying to clear William's name. Now, now, I, really, now I really hope that arcade cabinet really hurt. Like, I hope, I hope that thunk really went to your soul. The children's spirits are still in the pizzeria. I spoke to one named Cassidy, who quickly became aggressive, and I don't blame her. After all that's happened... Nah, who be quickly became aggressive? Who's the one who started cussing her out first? I, I, and, and I don't blame her. And I, I bet you won't blame her after she... Or she'll throw another arcade cabinet at your fucking head. I'm surprised you're even here to tell the story. After all that's happened, now trapped within the animatronic mascots isn't fair. I want to help, but they won't co cooperate. I'm currently in the hospital with a broken... <laughs> a broken rib and leg. When I recover, I intend to find out what's happened that evening. <laughs> you got out... You got out with a broken rib and a leg after an arcade machine went like 20 miles at you? I'm surprised they didn't kill you afterward. You, nah, you really got lucky. Don't, don't ever come back. All right, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.